Good morning, folks. As I have a 13-week-old child, I'm very familiar with the pattern of sleep, wake up screaming her head off, followed immediately by more sleep. Welcome to our star, where she's doing the exact same thing. It's been about 400 years since her last nap, so she's a bit cranky. We're calm again right now, though, on route to solar minimum. The solar flaring petered out over the last day, and the sunspots stopped gaining complexity immediately, and all delta spots are either now weak, shrinking, or gone completely. Primary eruption threat becomes the plasma filaments snaking in north and south there. Coming to the solar wind, you see yellow speed and orange density both edging up slightly today. I don't expect any major effects from it, but more protons at a faster rate has sent the electrons running to high. Folks, the earthquake watch peaks over the next 48 hours as Jupiter conjoins the Sun and the massive Earth-facing coronal hole faces Earth. Thus far, we're still waiting for an uptick, however, as an Earth spot rumble is our top shake of the day, right under where one of those typhoons were a day before. Anyway, we've got new images from dawn at Ceres, the highest resolution yet. Among the amazing things to see is a pyramid mountain. That feature is brighter because it is sticking up not cratered down. Also got a solid feature on the urban heat island due to imperfect surface flatness and mitigated by vegetation. Featured at the observers today is the deeper look page. The earth spots category might be of interest due to today's top quake. And folks, observing the frontier in Pittsburgh is just weeks away, but the deadline for discounted tickets to Phoenix in January is August 31st, just five days away to lock in our Arizona event at pre-registration discount. Four Earth spots dancing around between Japan and Hawaii. Then we have Ignacio, salsa ing over to the west there. Erica in the Atlantic should strengthen into a hurricane, and this one may be coming at Florida. Time to prepare now, folks. Top alerts today follow a crazy low in convergence in northern Europe and flood potential at two locations of the Australian coastline there. We've got shots of our star to close hopefully finishing the book this week. Another item on the checklist. It's 6.15 a.m. Eastern Time, and that's the news. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.